99% of Final Cut Pro editors will sync audio without any problems if they do this one thing. I'll show you two ways to sync audio in Final Cut Pro, including an automatic three-click trick. Watch till the end for three editing shortcuts that will shave minutes off of your next edit. All right, the first way you can sync is to do it manually. So I have a video clip here and an audio clip, and I want to synchronize them. So I'll select both clips, and I'll drag and drop them to my timeline. Then I'm gonna put this audio underneath my video and let's zoom in. I'll press Z and zoom in around my video and clip. All right, here's the video. There are no stupid questions, just stupid raisins. And I have an external recorder and I want to synchronize it. And so the best way to do that is to start to trim it up. Let's trim it to here. And then I need to move my audio clip over to synchronize. And what I'm going to do is use these waveforms to visually synchronize it. But I wanna see them better. So I'll click over here on this button to adjust the waveform settings. And let's see more audio. And let's make it a little bit taller. There we go. It looks pretty good. But if we zoom in at this waveform right here, we can see that this waveform starts and then the next one, and we'll even be able to hear that. There are no stupid questions. You can hear an echo. All right, so let's zoom in on that again, and then select the bottom or the audio layer, and then you can use comma and period to move them and to get it synced up. That looks a little bit better, but if we look over here at this waveform, it's not matched up. We need to move it in the subframe. Do you see this gray bar where my playhead is? That means there are subframes that represents one frame of video. But within that, there are sub audio frames and we can move within that. So I'll select my clip and I'll press option and then I'll press period to move it to the right. You can see it moving or comma to move it to the left. I'm gonna use this waveform right here. I like to move my playhead where they should match up so I can visually see it. I'll press option and period to get the lineup just right. That looks pretty good. Let's play it back. There are no stupid questions, just stupid raisins. Perfect, I got it synced up. And I've got no audio echoes or anything like that. Now, once that's synchronized, I can disable the audio from my camera. Just bring it down and now let's play it back. There are no stupid questions, just stupid raisins. The audio from my camera is actually better. So once you have the audio you want, you can just disable the other one by pressing V or pulling the volume down. And that's good for situations where the auto sync doesn't work, but for most times, auto sync is where you wanna be. So I'll show you how to do that. In the browser, select your two clips that you want to synchronize. Then go up to clip and select synchronize clips or right click and select synchronize clips or even faster, press the keyboard shortcut option command G. It'll bring up this window here. You can give it a name. We'll call this stupid questions and we'll pick the event we want it to save in. This is fine tutorials. And then I can adjust the starting time code. If you want the synced clips time code to start different from the earliest time code of the selected clips, then you would use this right here. Next up, we have use audio for synchronization. So that, so Final Cut Pro uses the audio waveform to try and match it up like we did manually, but automatically. So we'll leave that checked and then disable audio, audio components on AV clips. So if you have a video clip with audio in it, then once the synchronization happens, it's going to disable that audio on your camera clip because typically the recording from your camera isn't as good as an external recorder. And then you can just press OK and it will synchronize. But I wanna look at some custom settings. So I'll click on this button right here and synchronization is set to automatic. So Final Cut Pro is gonna automatically synchronize it for us. We can do some other things though. We can select time code. If your clips have time code in it, this is the easiest and fastest way to synchronize your clips. Or you can synchronize it by content created. Final Cut will sync the clips based on the time and date of the clips you have selected. However, this is only accurate to within one second. So if you want to fine tune it, keep this use audio for synchronization checked. You can also synchronize it from the start of each clip. And Final Cut Pro will use the first frame of each clip to synchronize. You can also add markers to your clips and then select first marker on the clip to use as a synchronization point. Automatic works really well, so I'm just gonna use that. I'll select automatic and then I can set my video resolution here. But I wanna use automatic settings for my video and then I'll click OK. Final Cut Pro has created a synchronized clip. And here it is right down here. And you can tell it's synchronized because it has this little link icon in the upper left corner. You can adjust the synced clip by selecting it and then going up to clip and select open clip. You'll see in our primary storyline, we have the video and then underneath it, we have audio. And we have this gap clip that Final Cut added to give us space here to line up our video with our audio. Now you can adjust this in here and it's just like a regular timeline. You can trim your video just like before. You can move clips around. And if you need to fine tune it or adjust it like we did manually, I can select it and then I can press comma to move it back in time or period to move it forward in time. 
then if I hold down option, I can do that at the subframe level and really fine tune the adjustments. I can also add effects to the video and audio. When you're done, just click on this arrow right here to go out of the clip view. And now we're back in our project. You can also just double click on the synced clip to open it in the timeline and edit it. Okay, before we go on, I gotta know if we're synchronized here. Are you getting this? Am I doing a good job? Am I helping out? If so, will you please give this video a thumbs up? Thanks. In a second, I'm gonna show you how to edit a synced clip, but first we gotta find that synced clip in this big mess of my library. Now, you might get lost if you have a library like mine, and it might be hard to find your synced clip. So, right click on your event and select new smart collection. Double click on this smart collection that was created. Let's add a filter. Click on the plus and add type. Set the type to synchronized and then close the smart collection. And you'll see here we have our synchronized clip. We can also rename that. I'll just select it, click on it once and write synced clips. All right, I can treat a synced clip like any other video clip. I can add it to my timeline by dragging and dropping it and I can trim it by clicking and dragging on the endpoints. Next, I want to show you one of those three shortcuts. Select the clip and press Control D to change the duration. This is hours. These two numbers are minutes. These are seconds and these are frames. We can quickly change the duration by entering a new time. I'll put 300 for three seconds and then press Enter and it trims it. And if I want to disable the audio, I can double click on it in my timeline and disable one of the audio tracks. I can also add effects to it just like a normal video clip. You can also change where this audio file is connected by pressing Option Command and clicking where you want it to be connected. So if I want it connected here, I'll just click and you can see that connection point or I can change it to here. Option Command, click. That's keyboard shortcut number two to save you time. All right, I've got a title attached to my sync clip and I want to move it to the end of my project. But when I move it, the title goes with it. I want it to stay at the beginning. So I'll hold down the Grav key, which is right under the Escape key. And now I get this little orange icon that pops up. And when I move my clip, it moves, but the title stays at the beginning. Power keyboard shortcut number three. All right, now that you have your audio synchronized, you're probably gonna need to use some audio effects. I put together my top nine tips for adding audio effects in Final Cut Pro. Check it out.